All right, oh, yeah. gentlemen, this movie was such a fun ride. I honestly kind of got vertigo in that first scene. Um, Mark, any injuries for you? There were so many fight scenes. Tell me about them. You know, the biggest injury I had was the sore back from sitting on my ass the whole time watching Tom run around like a crazy person. <laughs> uh, no, I was luckily enough for me. I, I, I made the movie while I had uh, a couple of injuries, but no, I was, I was lucky enough to let Tom do a lot of the heavy lifting. So other than that, you know, it was, it was easy. That's definitely a question for Tom. Tom? His ego, his ego was hurt. That's what it was. <laughs> Seriously, though, you were kicking ass like you had to have gotten like some bruises. What was it training and executing those? What was that like? Yeah, I mean, I got bangs and bruises here and there. I, I did quite a, a gnarly like jump over a, a railing in in Barcelona where I slid down this roof and my whole right side was like black and blue. Uh, but other than that, nothing too serious. I mean, I was I was walking away from everything. So so I was actually fine. You're Spider-Man. You can take it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, what were your first impressions of each other? Because Tom, you did say you were nervous to meet some uh, co-stars on Spider-Man. Were you nervous to meet Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, I mean, of course I was. I've been a huge fan of Mark's, you know, really since I started loving cinema and, and he's had such an incredible career varying from all sorts of different types of movies. Uh, but, you know, within 10 minutes of sitting down with Mark, I was at your house I realized if we got the chance to work together, we'd, we'd be fast friends. Uh, so I was nervous, but you know, I, I was after 10 minutes, I felt fine. And I, I was enjoying oh, it. Tell, tell, tell the story of the gift I gave you in the ride home. You want me to tell that story, do you? I think, you know what? I think that's kind of set. Oh, never mind. Okay. never mind. <laughs> oh, told once. once was enough. Where did uh, I tell that story? Did I tell you that story? I didn't tell that story. You told me the story. I was like, what are you talking Afterwards, you were like, can I just tell you? Yeah, but when you told that story earlier, I was uh, panicking thinking, did I tell that story publicly? I hope I didn't. And I no, didn't. didn't. You've told it. Brilliant. I feel good about that now. Yeah. Okay, well, but, you guys can always tell it. We're here. We're listening. Essentially, Mark Wahlberg was kind enough to give me a massage gun after I left his house in uh la and he drove me back to my hotel and at the time i was confused as to what kind of massage gun this was having never seen one before and i thought it was the type of self-pleasure and i thought mark Wahlberg was driving me back to my house for other reasons other than just being a gentleman um <laughs> and i i didn't know you it's hollywood baby who knows what's gonna happen wow okay so so that's a lot, you guys. Um, We're talking about working out, fitness, recovery, all this stuff. You know, <laughs> I have a, a company with Power Plate, and we make the best massage guns out there. So I was like, I want to gift you one. This would be great for your recovery and everything else. And he was just kind of looking at me. And I was like, hey, let me drive you back because you don't have to take an Uber or whatever. And I'm driving with this massage gun. And the whole I can't believe the whole time you're thinking that. And I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, talking about your family and talking about my kids and what their interests are. Why do you think oh, you got to get your head out of the gutter, buddy. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, you know, Tom, I know you know Mark Wahlberg, but were you aware that before you, he was a major heartthrob oh, yeah. teen status? Look at this. That was my background for the entirety of this movie. I was like, <laughs> I've just got to try and look like Mark. I'd sit there at night and stare at him. Oh, my God. So that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, Tom. One day you'll be 50. When I'm 75 and you're 50, I'm going to say, I told you, kid. <laughs> I told you it's going to happen. Mark, uh, did you become the coolest dad ever working with Tom Holland? You've done a lot of cool things. But if what did your girls think when Tom came over? Uh, my daughter, I don't know if my daughter was there. Um, I think it's, it's kind of weird because I have an 18-year-old and then I have a 12-year-old. So I think even though they would have probably thought he was super cool, they'd be embarrassed to say it to me because then they know I'd put them out there and try to introduce them to Tom and get a picture and all that stuff. I always do too much. Right. So they, they didn't mention it, but my sons, were very, my sons were very excited to see this movie. And they saw it at a very rough stage where there's still a lot of green screen. And they, uh, I mentioned to them that I was originally attached to play Nathan. And they said, Dad, you're way too old. Tom did a much better job than you could have done, so... There you go. Smart boys, smart boys. 
I don't know, Mark, you kept up. I mean, we know via your abs that you are in the gym every day uh, with your daughter's boyfriend too, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. What does it take to get dad's blessing? You know what? He's just a really sweet, kind boy. Um, and, and, you know, he was always nothing but nice and polite and respectful. He treats my daughter like an angel. So um, it was one of those things where at first I was, you know, and as a young dad, I was overprotective, but it's inevitable. You know, you just want them to be happy. Kids are going to make their own choices. And hopefully you just point them in the right direction. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will be her, her one and only true love and they'll, they'll live together happily ever after. I hope so. No. Uh, Mark, you already Me too, because I don't want to start it with another kid. That's the last <laughs> thing I want to do. Uh, Mark, you already gave Tom a really great Valentine's Day present, it seems, with his uh, uh, massager. Um, what Which were you I guys doing? Got, by the way, I still use that massage gun. It's oh, that's brilliant. Good. It's, honestly, it's fantastic. That's for good. For massaging your muscles. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what will you guys be doing for Valentine's Day and how will you celebrate Valentine's Day with your loves? I'm trying to figure out uh, a surprise, something cool that you can just do on our own. I think it more for us, you know, it's just about spending quality time. You know, you spend so much time working and you're so busy um, and you're always sacrificing time away from the people that matter most that are at home supporting you, keeping things going and, and keeping everybody on track. So I've got to do something special, but I think it's the little thing. So I'll, I'll try to, I don't want to say it on TV in case God forbid she watches this. I want it to be a surprise. Uh -huh.